Hola y bienvenidos. Mi nombre es Señor Rodríguez. Soy el maestro de música en la escuela de corals. En este video vamos a celebrar música en la cultura latina. Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Rodríguez. I am the music teacher at Coral School. In this video we'll be celebrating Hispanic music and culture. We're going to learn about music from La República Dominicana, Dominican Republic. It's a country in the Caribbean islands. Can we say República Dominicana? República Dominicana. Now I have this instrument from La República Dominicana. Is called la tambora. This is a native instrument from the Dominican Republic. Can we say la tambora? So this instrument is made out of wood, animal skin, and it's also tuned by using ropes. And you use a stick to hit one side of the instrument and then you use your hand to hit it on the other side of the instrument and you can play it like this so it's like a combination of using the stick in a particular pattern and you using your hand on the other side there okay so this is uh, uh, la tambora, and this is the pattern that they use. La tambora. Now, the next instrument that we're going to talk about is called la guira. Can we say la guira? La guira. So, la guira is a, an instrument from the Dominican Republic that is used in merengue music. Can we say merengue? And it looks like a metal cylinder. It almost looks like a cheese grater. And you can see very closely here, it has like little indentations. And you use this hard brush. Almost looks like a, like a pick or a comb. And then you hold it like this. 
and you get this sound, very, very high, trebly, uh, scratchy sound. So you will play this instrument typically in merengue music. That's one of the patterns. Okay, you can also play this music in uh, a style of music called bachata. Can we say bachata? Bachata. And this is the way you would play bachata. That would be the bachata. That would be the bachata pattern. Merengue pattern. So this instrument is called la huida. And we play it in merengue and bachata. Okay, the next instrument is called el huido. This is called el huido. Can we say el huido? El huido kind of looks similar to a huida, except it's made out of wood. And with this instrument, you play cha-cha-chas. You can play um, in uh, montunos and, and salsa, but more traditional. Listen to the sound that you get out of this. El huido. Now, the next instrument is called la clave. Can we say la clave? La clave. Now, la clave is primarily used in Cuban music and in Puerto Rican music. Cuban music, Cuba, Cuba. Can we say Cuba? And Puerto Rico. And in Puerto Rico, we have the, Puer the Puerto Rican salsa. And in Cuba, we have the mambo, uh, Afro-Cubano music. And this instrument helps bind the ensembles together. The pattern I'm going to play for you is called the 2-3 clave. La clave. Now the next instrument that I have here is called the cowbell. La campana. Can we say la campana? La campana. Now la campana, the cowbell, is used in Puerto Rican salsa, is used in mambos, in son, uh, son mantunos, uh, many aspects of of uh, uh, Latin music in cha-cha-chas, um, almost in every genre in, in Latin music. And you use a little stick and you can hit different areas of the cowbell. La Campana. Okay, so the next traditional instrument in Latin music is called the maraca. La maraca. Can we say la maraca? La maraca. Okay, and the maracas are, they're, they're made out of skin, animal skin, with little beads inside that shake, and then you have your little handles like this. Okay, you can play them in salsa music. Okay, that particular pattern, you can also play them in boleros. 
bolero. Can we say bolero? Okay, so these are called la maraca. One of the last instruments I will demonstrate today in this video is called the conga, la conga. Can we say la conga? La conga. Another name for la conga is called la tumbadora. Can we say la tumbadora? La conga and la tumbadora are the same instrument. These instruments right here. These are probably the most recognizable instruments in Latin percussion and in Latin music are the congas. They're played in music such as music from Cuba, danzones, son mantunos, guajiras, cha-cha-cha. They're featured in salsa music. They're featured in cumbia music from Colombia, uh, bossa nova from Brazil, uh, and also Latin jazz. When you mix Latin rhythms with jazz harmonies, they also use the congas in that genre of music. Very versatile, and you almost see them in every Latin ensemble. Now, you usually have one main conga, which is kind of the higher pitched instrument, and then you have your lower conga over here. You use your hands to play them. And this is this is one of the techniques of how to play it. Alright, now you use a little bit of, of different hand techniques and gestures. This is kind of your bass, slap, and then like a little pop. So this is kind of how you play the congas, even though I'm not a professional conga player. Uh, but I did study this instrument a little bit uh, to kind of get acquainted with this instrument. Okay, so the name of this instrument is called La Conga.